Yes, yes, three me da. Hey Roses, I am back to do another manga review. Like I said in the last one, which was for Kane Saga, some of my friends and people in the manga community wanted to know, you know, certain thoughts on, you know, manga that I've read and things like that. And I want to give as much as I can without spoiling the series because. A lot of my friends want to know about older series and I don't want to spoil it for them in case they happen to come across these because most of the ones I've done reviews of so far are out of print which is unfortunate. However, the one today is not and that is Seraph of the End and this is technically volume 16. I do not have volume 1 to show you. These are just the current ones that I got from the library 16, 17, and 18. And 19, I have 19 on my nightstand to read. But this follows a universe where people believe that all of the adults died to a virus. And so kids that are like 13 and below live in this vampire city, as, as the vampires put it, human cattle for them to feed off of. And it starts off following Yoichiro, hopefully I'm saying that right, and Mikaela. They live in a orphanage called the Hy Hyakuya Orphanage. That's a tough word to say. And you know, they grew up together. A bunch of the other kids were there too. They kind of considered each other family, even though Yoichiro says, I'm tr I don't really consider us family, but I think part of the reason for that is because his family before he went to the orphanage was super abusive and so he's like super guarded but eventually you know he starts to open up a bit more anyway Mikaela finds a map and they decide this happens all volume one so I'm not spoiling anything for later but he basically finds a map and he's like, hey, this shows us how to get to the outside world. Let's leave. And Yoichiro is like, are you crazy? Like, the, the earth has been, like, destroyed by this virus. Like, buildings have shattered and tumbled on top of each other. Like, they believe the virus is still out there. He's just like, it's super dangerous, like, we shouldn't go. But Mikaela decides he's going to try and flee with Yoichiro and the rest of the kids from the orphanage, despite his protesting. And as they get ready to leave, unfortunately a vampire, not going to say which character, because if you know the series, you know, but again, I'm not going to spoil that. Um, he basically murders all of the kids except for Yoichiro, and the only reason is because Mikaela steps in front of said vampire for him to get bit, so Yoichiro can escape through the door and go into the, um, decimated human world. And when he does, he comes across a character named Guren Ichinose. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. And he is a military personnel for the Black uh, the Black Demon Army. Which basically means they're a vampire extermination unit trying to get rid of all the vampires in the world. And Yoichiro, blinded by rage and vengeance, decides he's going to join so that he can have the weapons necessary to defeat quote unquote blood suckers as he calls them. So then it just follows him like going through the academy and training and him getting used to certain weapons and things like that. So yeah, it kind of follows his journey through there and then you know he has some reunions with people, I'm not going to say who. But you know, he has to deal with all that, and actually, let me see if I can find 
these volumes come with like a mini poster inside. So I'm trying to find the one that has um, Yoichiro and another character. Not that one, it is this one then. But yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. So these all come with a, like a mini poster on the inside. So there's Yoichiro, but I'm not spoiling who this character is. But, and they fold up in there too, which I like. But for the most part, it's a, like I said, it's a series I'm enjoying, obviously, because I'm about to start volume 19, and I think there are 28 out, I believe, and I think my library actually has up to 28. Because anytime there's a new release, they instantly get it, and I'm just like, do y'all pre-order this stuff or what? <laughs> like, it, it, it blows my mind that they have, like, current stuff, because... They'll have series as old as like the Kane Saga, Godchild, um, Mars even, which I still want to find my own set of Mars to buy, but it's insanely expensive. I'm hoping and praying one day the library puts their set up for sale so that I can buy it. I remember I even offered, I said, I'm willing to give you $150 for the set can I buy it? And they said, no, we like keeping older series in here for people that are, haven't heard of them. We like to have a big variety and things like that. I'm like, they rarely get checked out. I think I may be one of three people that has checked out that series. But anyway. Like I said, hoping and praying one day I can actually get my hands on a set for a reasonable price and not pushing $400. Because, yes, that's what people are selling them for, and it's stupid. But. Tangent aside. I am really liking Seraph of the End so far. I like Yoichiro. He can be a bit hard-headed at times, but then again, what person in modern day isn't? hard-headed to some extent, you know? But anyway. But it ends up following Yoichiro, someone in his class named uh, Kimizuki, um, Yoi, Yoicho, I think that's how you pronounce his name, pretty sure that's his name, but I could not... I want to say it's Yoicho. Anyway, he is a um, kind of a soft-spoken character, but eventually he starts to open up a bit more. Actually, I have my computer right here. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Yoichi, okay. Yoichi, not Yoichi. Yoichi. Thank you, Google. Um, like I said, he's kind of soft-spoken, but I think that's mostly because when you find out his backstory, you kind of understand why. Again, avoiding spoilers as much as I possibly can. That's probably going to become a common phrase with these reviews, but... I do feel bad for Yoichi though, just because 
he went through some pretty traumatic things and I can understand A, why he's so soft-spoken and B, why he wants to kill vampires in general just like Yoichiro. Um, Kimizuki, or Kimizuki, has a younger sister and he's wanting to join the army because his sister is really sick and in the hospital and if you are in the army apparently you get better health care versus civilians which is not that much of a spoiler but that is his reason for being at the academy so so I feel for him too especially with what happens to his sister later she gets put through some rough things but yeah Hopefully you all enjoyed this manga review of Seraph of the End. Let me know down below if you have read this series at, it, at all and what your thoughts are on this series. I would personally love to know just because it is a more current series compared to like Godchild and Alice 19th and Sarah's, the ones that I've done previous. So I would just I would love to know. So with all that being said, I will talk to you guys soon in another video and another time. Where is this? Annyeong.